Hey everyone, if you don't know me, my name is Rob Kerr. I've been working with data for many years and I'm passionate about using AI and data science techniques to create more impactful business solutions. And today we're gonna to create a solution that uses custom vision AI to inspect the contents of a package to make sure everything is in it before it goes out the door. So let's get into it. The solution we're gonna build with custom vision AI is going to look at an assembled product and see whether all of the pieces that are inside that box are actually there before the product goes out. To make this kind of fun and uh, more personal, we're going to take a look at cartons of eggs. So what we want to do is use Custom Vision AI to have a computer learn what an egg looks like. So it's mainly going to be looking at these cartons with eggs in them. So if I look at this carton, it has uh, 12 eggs in it, just like it's supposed to. And we're going to teach the computer how to count how many eggs are in this image just by looking at it. We have some other cartons that don't have that many images in them. This one has three. That's not 12, so that's going to be a rejected piece. And similarly, this, this one over here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's not a full case either. So this is going to result in a rejection of this product so it doesn't ship. So the first step in creating this solution is to create a custom vision resource. So I'll go into create a resource. Find custom vision, that's what I want. And I'll create one. Now I've given the option of creating a resource that can do training, can do prediction, or both. I will choose both. I'm going to choose an existing resource group in the East region. I'm going to call this RHK Egg Vision. For pricing tier, I'll choose standard. And for prediction pricing tier, I'll choose standard. And that's all I really need, so I'll review and create. And create. Now I can see my deployment has completed. And if I go back to my resource group, I can see that that custom vision is in here. So the next step is to create a new custom vision project. So I'll, I'll head over to customvision.ai, which is the portal to create these projects. And you see, I don't have any projects yet. So I'll go ahead and click new project. And here I'm gonna call this egg recognizer. And for the description, custom vision to recognize eggs. For the resource, I'm going to choose RHK Egg Vision, which I created. And I have two choices here of classification and object detection. Uh, classification would be looking at the entire image and classifying it. But what I want is object detection, because I want to know how many eggs are in each image once I'm using this model. For domains, I'm actually going to choose the general compact domain, S1. And the reason I'm going to do this is because in a future video, I'm actually going to deploy this onto into other devices outside of Azure. And the only way I can do that is if I use a compact domain, if I use a compact domain model. So I go ahead and create project. Okay, so my project is created and I have this blank workspace. So the first thing I want to do is to train the model. And to do that, I need to add images to the model, then tag the images then train the model, and then once that's done, I'll be able to use the model for prediction or to, to use the model to count the eggs for me. So let's go ahead and add the eggs. So in my file system, I have actually two folders. One of them, which I showed you before, is the test folder. So in, in the end, I'm gonna use this data for kind of my own testing of the model to see how it's working. But to train it, I have a bunch of other images so some of these images have a single egg. So I want to train, I want the model to recognize a single egg. So I'm going to upload images like that. And then a, a number of the other images have eggs in a carton. So I'm going to teach it what eggs look like when they're in a carton. So it'll, it'll kind of be able to do both. So I'll go ahead and select all of these and click open to upload them. So I have 17 images. Say, yep, I want to upload those. And 
and I have 17 images uploaded successfully. And if I look at the left side now, it says how many images are tagged? It says none. Okay, how many aren't tagged yet? A whole bunch. So this tool, the, the portal, actually gives me the ability to tag these interactively. I'm going to do that. It's not the only way to do it. You can upload images that um, and, and tag them in, in code and for a high volume solution that might make sense. But what I'm going to do is just go ahead and tag these. So the, uh, the portal is actually recognizing that that's, that's a thing. It wants me to know what is that. I'm going to say, well, that's an egg. Okay. And then I'm going to pick each of these other eggs. And what I'm doing is telling Custom Vision that every one of these things is an egg. And they don't all look the same. So the training will help the model learn that an egg can look a little bit different. But the more samples we give it, the smarter it'll get about recognizing eggs in other pictures. So if I go to the next image, and I'm going to call these eggs as well, you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up for the other image, and I will restart the video when I get there so that we can get into the training. Okay, so I've just tagged the last image, and so now I see that I no longer have a forward arrow, so I can go back and look at the images I tagged before. And here are individual eggs or cartons of eggs. But all these eggs are now tagged. So let me close this window. And if I look at the tagged images, I see there's 17 of those untagged. There aren't any left. And in this solution, I'm really just teaching the model to recognize eggs because I only care about eggs. But I could have multiple tags. So I, I could have many tags of, of different kinds of items and I want to discriminate them and, and count different items. But just to keep the solution simple, we're just doing eggs. So our next step is to go ahead and train the model. So up at the top, we'll hit train. And we can choose between quick training, which is what I'm going to do, or advanced training. So if we chose advanced training, we could actually have the model train even more and get even better at recognizing eggs. But in this case, eggs are pretty simple shapes, so I think quick training is just fine. So let's go ahead and stick with the quick training and click the train button. And now what the custom vision is doing is, is it's submitting the training job in, into the compute layer. So it's going to go ahead and go through all of our images and train a model of how to recognize eggs. So I'm going to let this finish and then come back and pick up when it's done. Okay, so our training is complete and I can see it finished at 5.03. So I think it started at 4.58. So that's really only about five minutes of training that it, that it took to get this done. So what we get at the, when the training is complete is, is kind of a self-evaluation. So the, the model trainer has tested itself and it thinks it's 100% accurate kind of across the board, which is great. I hope that's true. So the next thing and the last thing I'm going to do in this video is just to do a quick test and see how is this model actually working. So what I'm going to do is I, I clicked on this uh, quick test and I can pull a file in from my test collection. So let me go up to test and I will just pull in a full carton of eggs and see what happens. So the quick test has taken the image that I uploaded and ran it through the prediction endpoint to see how many of these objects, how many egg objects were found in that image. And it found 12. So that's great. Uh, this does look 100% accurate. The confidence was 100% on, on this one, 100% on that one, where this one was 99.9. .9. So it's, it's really sure that there are 12 eggs here. And then on the right-hand side, I can see a table of probability. Now, in a future video, I'm going to actually implement an application that does this and this is the kind of output that we would get back in that application it would show us that you know at these at each of these coordinates an egg was found and this is the confidence so let's try maybe some other images so we'll try this one that has I can see in the image there has three eggs in it so let's see if the model finds three eggs as well it does it finds all three of these eggs and here I'll choose this one has more eggs and it identified all of those eggs as well and let's see if the model can identify individual eggs. It does. Let's try that other test image from the end. And it does. 
Okay, so we're done for this video. So we created a custom vision project. We uploaded a bunch of training images and tagged them to show custom vision which are the egg objects that we want to find. We trained the model and it thinks it did a really good job of that. And then in our quick tests, we ran through just, just a sanity check to make sure that the kinds of images we're going to submit to the model are actually going to work out well. And we found that yes, indeed, this model actually works really well. So if we wanted to place a camera over an assembly line, it would detect how many eggs were in each carton and be able to tell which ones are accurately packed and which ones aren't. So in a future video, I'll take this model and actually do some more things with it. But I think you get the idea of how to build these things and we'll leave it there for today.